Hey guys, so today marks a very special day for Amy. It is Mother's Day. Not just any Mother's Day, it is her first official Mother's Day. Uh, last year it was, um, you know, her mother the bee day. There is a child inside of her and we know it's a boy and we have a name to it. So she's a mother in my book. And at the same time, she's a mother to these guys too. But today is her very first actual Mother's Day. It's very exciting. So I thought I'd do something nice for her. Make her breakfast in bed. I got some pancakes. I got some eggs and I got some bacon. And then I'm just gonna bring it up on this tray. And she doesn't know. Hopefully she doesn't smell everything cooking. She might, but um, yeah, then we gotta, I think we're gonna go out and do a couple things. Unfortunately, it's raining out, but um, yeah. And then I get to reveal my, 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 my present to her, which is, you'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna start cooking. Seeing that it's Amy's first Mother's Day, we're gonna open some cards and some gifts. This is from Jenny. It's from Jenny. <laughs> it says, Happy first Mother's Day, Stinky. I'm so proud of who you are. You are so kind, caring, and amazing. Don't doubt yourself. You're an amazing person, wife, sister, and now mommy. Don't ever doubt that, and I'm here for anything. Love you. Kisses, 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 hug. Whoa. Please. <laughs> <laughs> As the leader of their flocks, mother ducks guide the way and set the path for their little ones to follow. No matter where the mother duck may go, baby ducks will always be right behind, for no obstacle can break the special bond between a mother and a child. Whoa! And Caitlin's got one too. Caitlin's got one too? Yeah. Did they get that? Look, it's purple too. <gasps> Whoa. I wonder what color Caitlin got. Maybe she got purple too. Maybe. Who knows? We should ask her. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah. It's awesome. If you guys don't notice that Mr. Mason here is matching his mommy. Yeah, Mason and mommy are matching. <coughs> yeah! <laughs> Bokey's having a conversation with some birds. <coughs> Because I can read my mom's handwriting. Like, what did they get? Very what did they get you? Oh. <laughs> You're a great mom. It takes lots of learning and laughing and helping. Whoa. Patience and playfulness, growing and giving. Honesty, humor, and hugging and hoping. Kindness, encouragement, caring, and coping. Gentleness, strength, and a loving heart, too. 
That's what it takes to make great moms like you. Wow. Happy Mother's Day. Wishing you a wonderful day today and always. You're doing a great job with Mason. <gasps> that's you! Yeah, Mason, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Love and miss you so much. Love mom and dad. No kisses and hugs. What? <laughs> what? That's... What? Oh no! Oh no, what do we do? <laughs> yeah! La la roo. PJ! Oh, uh, more, more... Thanks, mom and dad. Thanks, mom and dad. Is this the mom cat and her baby? <laughs> How cute. Mama! Mama! <laughs> now I believe it's the kitties because the paw prints. <laughs> Bet you guys didn't know that our cats could write. <laughs> we are lucky cats. You're so good to me that I want to spend all nine lives with you. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for all the cuddles, pets, and special food. We love you, Mom. Love Rosie and Sirius. Whoa. Uh, speaking of the kitties. <laughs> <laughs> no fighting on Mother's Day. Fight, 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 fight. Who's is this? This is from my little boogie back. Mr. Mason? Yeah. My son, my son. My son, my son. Happy Mother's Day from your son. Through the big things, little things, stressful things, simple things, happy things, and sometimes not so happy things. Through all the busy things, lazy things, silly things, stupid things, wild things, scary things, funny things, special things, and everything in between. You're so good at the mom thing, and I can't tell you how much I love you for it. Best mom, thank you for all your love, hugs, kisses, snuggles, and bottles, mommy. I love you with all my little heart. <laughs> Love, Mason, kisses, 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 hugs. He's very happy about this card. <laughs> Thank you, Mason. <laughs> I love you. And this is from the husband. The husband. I love for all you are, wife, mother, partner, friend. I can't imagine a more wonderful person than you. Oh my goodness. Wonderful person than you to share this life with. Excuse the cats. Thank you for letting me, me be me, for loving me as I am and understanding me so well forever and always. My heart belongs to you. Happy Mother's Day. And then I'm going to read this to myself. Well, we'll get the gift first. Okay. <gasps> Are we going on a trip? And your favorite rocket ship. You think do this, guys. To Virginia Beach. The end of the month. Mm-hmm. Thanks, babe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mason, we're going on a family trip. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> because it's a special occasion, we are going to have some cat food which is chicken and tuna dinner in gravy today. We're gonna be at Caraba. Surprise, surprise. So it's not super busy. Yeah, I hope not, but let's go. So we are now here, and after waiting forever, we got our Caraba. Me coming in with my pasta Caraba as usual. What do you got here? A salad, with mozzarella, and uh, tomato, and onion. What's this? Pasta. 
That's it. You excited? Delicious? Yeah? Yeah. And we got baby over here. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's excited about life. Woohoo! I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you. Well, guys, I have to say I had an amazing first Mother's Day, and thank you, Greg, so much for everything, and thank you, everyone, for your well wishes. And I hope everyone who's a mom had a great day. And I just can't imagine life without this little one. <laughs> When I met you, when we started off, it sure was a different kind of love. Should I get up? Should I get up and run? Stop that right before it had begun. dreamt of being a mom for as long as I've known and, <laughs> and it's the best thing you can imagine and I've never been happier <laughs> I love you and this journey shall continue so new day with my husband. And guess where we're off to today? The hospital again. Woo! Not for me today though. It's for a little man, Mason. And it's his nine month checkup. So hopefully everything goes well. I'm sure it will. But we're doing a bet. How much does Mason weigh? I say 19.3. Greg says. 18.68. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll see what the results are. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go again. To the doctor's place. <laughs> da, 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 da. Just an update. We figured out his weight. This little booger butt <coughs> is 17.8 pounds. So we were both off. Yeah. I was close. I was that. way off. Yeah. So Greg wins. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's smaller than we thought. Yeah. Oh. But then again, I'm I'm pretty small. Yeah. And you're pretty small, so we're he's going to be small. We're not very tall or anything, so. Mm -hmm. But he's yeah. going to be a little one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And no shots today. No shots today. So that's good. Not until one year. Yeah. Which yeah. sucks, but. We hope we're fine. All is going well. Yep. Yay! Woo! And we out. We are headed back home, and I am going to work on Mason's nine month pictures. Boop, 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 boop.
Really? <laughs> What's that, Mason? Is that the doorbell? Oh, let's see what it is. I'm excited. Only a week later, and my flowers finally came in for my parents for Mother's Day. I think I'll set them right here. I think that is a really nice spot for them. And it came with a note that says, hope you have a wonderful first Mother's Day. Wish we were there to celebrate with you. You're doing a great job with Mason. He's a really sweet and happy child. Miss you, love always, mom and dad. And that would be my crazy child, Mason. That sweet and happy child, you know, that one. Such a weirdo. Mason, what are you doing? <laughs> My child, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, did you get mommy's jean or daddy's jean here? I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, I love you. You make me laugh, booger. <laughs> so guys, these next few clips are a little strange because I was planning to put the footage of me, Greg, Mason, and his parents who actually came down from Connecticut to spend some time with us. And we actually went down to the Arlington Cemetery which was really nice and we actually went to go and see Greg's friend who passed away about a year ago and was buried there. So that's not the strange thing. The strange thing is that when I was looking at the footage in order to put it into this vlog, Greg's camera was acting really weird. If you look at this clip right here, you can see Greg starting off the vlog, and then it goes into the cemetery footage from the bus, and then it randomly speeds up and then stops. I would say that's a little strange to me if you ask me. Then the next thing that was pretty strange is as I was looking through the photos, yeah, they all look exactly the same, I have to say, but um, my flash wasn't working very well. And then if you look really closely at the picture, you can see something that's a little out of place. And that thing, like, if, if you zoom in on it, it actually looks like a soldier standing by a gravestone, like, saluting. You guys be the judge. And then also I... I think it's kind of ironic, it might just be a speck on Greg's lens, who knows, but it's a little ironic that in this picture right here that there is like an orb or a speck or something like right where his friend is buried. A little odd, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, also the other thing that I'm going to show you guys that I thought I'd leave till the end is about my toe. I was going to possibly leave this out, but I figured since it's this is our life and everything that I would share it anyways. So, today we are taking off my bandages. You're getting really close. Dun dun dun! Look at my toe. Whose feet are these? Oh! Whose feet are these? He's like, ah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whose feet are those? Right. What are those? Now, I'll stop you here because if you don't want to see what it looks like underneath the bandaging, then you can go about your life and not watch the rest of this video. But if seeing this stuff is for you, then go ahead and watch the rest of this video. But I'm just warning you, it's really not that bad. But, I mean, if you have a weak stomach and don't like seeing this stuff, then I understand. So, as you can see in these next clips, 
here is how my toe looks after the surgery and how it looks now. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So as you can see right here, this was before I got the surgery and it looks pretty infected and swollen and gross. And then you look at this one after the surgery and it definitely looks like I'm in pain, which I was, but it actually wasn't as bad as when it was like before. And then this is footage of now today, about almost two weeks later. And oh my gosh, it feels so much better. It looks so much better. Like, I should have had this done so long ago. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we will see you guys in our next video next Friday. Bye!